Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I'm going to make a video today that really needs to be seen. It's one of these cases that, uh, you know, I, I wish people would take this message, take this video, show it to new lifters, right? I wish it was seen everywhere, but unfortunately, uh, I don't have a million followers to, <laughs> to get this message out. You know, I've got a hundred thousand, but that is something that if you step back and observe and younger lifters need to be aware of that when you see people who've been training hard for over five years do you notice that they very rarely unless they make money selling them right and therefore then they might lie about their use unless they make money selling them most people who've been training really seriously more than five years use very few supplements if they use anything, it'll be maybe protein powder and creatine or a vitamin or something. Right? You don't ever see them on the newest supplement fats. Now, what a lot of people will point out, they'll say, oh, they're just not hungry for gains. Really? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that anyone who's willing to work hard for over five years, because when I say over five, I don't mean that we mean six. I mean more than five. That could be 10. It could be 20. Anyone who's trained consistently that hard for that long is probably way hungrier for gains than 99% of new lifters in their first year. They're way hungrier because they've proven that they'll stick it out. They will literally make it their lifestyle. Okay, They'll make it a, an important part of their lifestyle. They'll get the work in no matter what's going on. Those are the people who have stuck it out for the long term. So you can't say they're not hungry for gains. If anything, when people stick it out that long, if they truly believed that all these supplements worked, they would be using them. And I would say it's quite the opposite because if they'll stick their training and gym memberships and getting the food in for that many years, you don't think they would stick out a supplement regimen that long? Come on, that, that is ir irrational. You want to know what it really is? People who've been training hard for more than five years consistently have already experimented. They've gone through the phases in their life. They've talked to enough really good long-term coaches, not the con artists that all these kids and new people listen to, right? First year or two, three year lifters, they love to listen to the con men because they're flashy. You're trying to sell them something they'll always gravitate to them they rarely very 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 rarely do first year to three year lifters even bother to listen to good experts they listen to the trendy experts not people who really are putting out the good advice the good coaches they don't listen to them so let's get that clear you don't even know their names so They've listened to really good experts who've all, we've all been, well, we've been doing this a long time. Unless we are selling supplements, we all say, at minimum, supplements are overrated. And in some cases, you find the really long-term hardcore coaches are like, they're all a con. I don't quite take that extreme, but I have friends who've been doing this as long who are like, if you take any supplement, you're an idiot anything all of it's a con because they've just seen so much nonsense that they view the whole thing that way those are literally the ones at that point in the game half of them are like i don't even think creatine is worth taking at twenty dollars a year it's a waste of twenty dollars that you can't get back every year that's how some really hardcore coaches have been doing this a long time view it because they're just used to so much of it being a con that it just must all be a con but again, what this, should this tell you people who are early on? If that's the attitude elite coaches with two decades of experience take, then they've seen some stuff. Hey, everyone else, because they have listened to some of this, they realize it. Guess what else happens? Usually, most people who've been training seriously for over five years have reached a point in their life where they couldn't afford their supplements, things came up to where they couldn't, I didn't have time to restock them, forgot about them. Okay, this invariably happens. And as long as they're not still experiencing the newbie placebo effect, 
what do you think happens? They go, man, I forgot to take, couldn't take, didn't take any of my supplements for six months. I saw no change. That's usually the big dead giveaway for them. Those people go, wait a minute, that happened and nothing happened. I didn't lose gains. My workouts weren't any worse. I, I made just as much progress. Then what happens? A lot of them go back on on the whatever their fifty, their hundred dollars a month worth of supplements, and then they go, "I didn't make any better progress in this six months than I did without them. Why am? Why have I been spending this money again? Oh, because these charlatans told me to. These charlatan, these people told me to do it." Then their viewpoints changed and before long, then they're like, I don't even want to listen to any of these influencers. They all ripped me off. I lost hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars because of them. They scammed me. It's a reason such a large number of my following are long-term lifters. You've been really been doing this a long time because They've been scammed enough, and then they realize, man, I used to ignore this guy. I go listen to this other more popular person, and then I realize this guy is right. Then I go and start listening to his advice, and I start making the first time I've made gains again in two years. And he didn't try to rip you all the sudden. I'm going to follow this guy, no matter what people say. That's, a, that's my average follower, unless they've been with me for 10 years. You see how that works? Okay, all these really long timers, the long timers, they've all realized nothing changed when they quit buying the supplements. Nothing happened. Like, I didn't ever need them. They didn't help me to begin with. They didn't do anything. But by then, a whole new crop of these kids come up because every year, Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of new lifters come onto the scene. Fresh meat for the con man. Fresh meat for the con man every time. In fact, they can recycle the same supplements that were proven not to work. Because they go out of vogue. All the research comes out. All the experts say, oh, this supplement doesn't work. It's garbage. It's useless. It turns out it was a scam. It disappears for a few years. Five years after... The new crop of people who've been training six months, a year, three years, have never heard of it. They can recycle the turcostone and ectosterone and all that stuff to you again. They can just recycle the same scams under new names. That's what's up. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.